What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 41 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that in these expressions, x and y represent positive integers. I know that seems like an unnecessary detail, but it actually makes the problem easier. Expression 1 is 2 times 10 to the x power. Expression 2 is 4 times 10 to the x plus y power. And it says the value of expression 2 is 20,000 times greater than the value of expression 1. And we're trying to figure out the value of this exponent y that's being added to x to make up the exponent that's attached to 10 in expression 2. This question deals with scientific notation and properties of exponents. We're going to have to use those to figure out this question and others like it. Now, there was another question that dealt with scientific notation where I went into um, fully what scientific notation is. Um, here, I'll just say that if we're starting with 20,000, I want to get this to some number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the something. Now first, I'm going to find that number by imagining a decimal point here. If I move it one place over, that gets me 2,000. That's too big. Another place over gets me 200, still too big. A third place over gets me 20, which is still too big. But then if I move it four places, that just gets me the number 2. This is what I'm looking for. It's between 1 and 10, so that's fine. And this is going to be times 10 to some power. And the way that I'm going to get that power is by counting the number of places I moved this decimal point. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So 20,000 is equal to 2 times 10 to the 4th. And just to make sure, I'm going to try that in my calculator. 2 times 10, and you'll be able to find this button here. Whatever I type to the right of this, the calculator is going to read as an exponent. So 2 times 10 to the 4th, that's 20,000. So I know I did that step correctly. Now I'll look at the problem and read that the value of expression 2 is 20,000 times greater than the value of expression 1. So which means I'm going to take expression 1 and multiply it by 2 times 10 to the 4th and get expression 2. Now it doesn't give a number for x. A nice way to cheat with these problems is as long as you pick the same number for x, you can use whatever you want. So I'll go ahead and use 3. So this is now 2 times 10 to the 3rd, and this is now 4 times 10 to the 3 plus y. So here, I'm going to just go ahead and multiply. To start with, I'll multiply just my number parts. 2 times 2. This gets me 4, so that's good. The problem didn't completely screw up for me, and I didn't screw up on the problem. And now, I'll use a property of exponents to say that I'm multiplying 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 4th, and that's actually going to get me... 10 to the 3 plus 4. So this is 4 times 10, and then 3 plus 4 is 7. That's one of these nice properties of exponents where if I see two exponents on the same base, I can just add my exponents together, and they equal the exponent of my resulting number. So this is now, I wrote that wonky, but it's 4 times 10 to the 7. Now 7 is 3 plus what? Well, we could actually see that by this property of exponents, we were adding 3 and 4 to begin with, which means that expression 2 has to be 10 to the power of 3 plus 4. So my y value is 4. Now, I know those of you are saying, Mr. W, you did it a really hard way. I could have just taken this exponent and made that my answer. But I did it this way for those kids who don't quite know. Um, how scientific notation exactly works so that they could see a problem like this where they had to actually multiply two numbers in scientific notation. So if you already knew this, fantastic. Use that strategy. If you didn't already know that, that's a strategy you can use, but also make sure, and for kids who know scientific notation, make sure of this too, make sure you keep that process in your back pocket in case they try to trick you with a question that's like this, but a little bit different.